What's up guys? In the last tutorial we installed the Hammer World Editor and went over some of the tools and functions. In this tutorial we will go over some of the basic measurements and dimensions of the player and basic structures found in the game. Scaling a map properly can make or break the desire to play it. I have also included a map for you to download and play around with to get a general idea of some of those common structures found in the game, such as doors, vents, stairs, and ladders, and how they are constructed. The following will be discussed using measurements of units, which would be the dimensions drawn on your grid in the Hammer World Editor. Okay, the player measurements in units, uh, the player height when they're standing is 72 units. Uh, the width is going to be 32. A player height crouching is 54 units, and the width is still 32. The height to pass under a brush standing is 73 units. The height to pass under a brush crouching is 55 units. And the width to pass through these uh, brushes is going to be 33, so it's basically 1 plus the unit of the player. The average wall height is 128 units, with the depth of anywhere from 16 to 32 units. Depends on the, what kind of material or textures you're using. The average door measurements are 56 by 112 units. For window height, there's two different kinds of windows I like to make. There's windows that you can see and shoot out of, and then there's windows that they're just kind of there, you know, you're not really supposed to, to look out and, and shoot out of them. Uh, the window height that you're able to look and shoot out of is 48 units tall. The window height that you are not able to shoot out of is 64 units tall. Stairs are tricky. If you, if you make your stairs wrong, they just look funky and it's not easy to walk up and down them. The best way to make stairs is with a depth of 16 and a height of 8 units. The maximum step height without jumping is going to be 18 units. Jumping height, you have jumping and then you have crouch jumping. The highest you can jump without crouching is going to be 54 units tall. And for crouch jumping, about 64 units. Using the developer textures will help keep your map scaled properly. Remember, you can always retexture. Also, adding info player entities, such as counter terrorist or terror spawns, can give you a nice idea of how your design scales to the player. The next best thing to do is quick compile and test your map a lot. Make it a habit to do a quick test run after every major addition to your map, and you'll be happy you did. In the description of the video, I've included a link to the map that I've made with some development textures. It just has some basic structures such as uh, doors, stairs, uh, vents, crates, that kind of thing. You can download them. You can download the source file and kind of get a general idea of, of the scaling of stuff. Um, so if, if you're new to this and you want to check stuff out, you can download that and I hope it helps you out. And that's it for the second tutorial on the Hammer World Editor. If I helped you out, which I hope I did, be sure to like, subscribe, and come back for more tutorials. Next time we're going to go right into making your first map.